Okay, today we're gonna make a cork pendant, a sliced cork pendant like we've seen on Pinterest lately. Um, and it's really easy to do. So simple, you'll make just dozens of them. The best thing to do, the best way to cut cork is to steam it or boil it um, for a few minutes until it gets really, really soft. And then just take a regular old um, serrated kitchen knife and with a lot of pressure, evenly slice your cork. The more you go back and forth, the more you get those kind of um, zigzaggy, choppy uh, edges on the inside. And so you want to really just try and slice through at one time as you're pressing down. You'll get a nice, smooth slice of cork. So I've got a bunch of them already cut here. And we'll set this aside. Um, you can also optionally add a little bit of acrylic paint to your background of your cork. Um, and for that, I'm just using the Tim Holtz Distress Paints. So you can use any acrylic paint on this. So let me show you how I did that. I picked a cork that sliced that I liked. I'm also um, going to apply this little washer to the top side of it. So I want a cork that's thick enough that this washer um, fits on the top side. So let's use this cork slice and I'm just going to dab a little bit of acrylic paint on the surface and I'm going to dry it up. Just let it air dry. If you were doing a bunch of these assembly line style, just paint them up, let them dry. We'll set that one aside and we'll use this one. And then you're going to take any rubber stamp that you want to apply uh, to the surface. I'm using one of these by Cavallini. It's a little bird. And I'm going to use Stazon Ink in Timber Brown as my color today. You want to ink it up, ink your stamp up, make sure it's nice and juicy. And then if you want to be careful about placement, you can just stamp, you can uh, take your cork and place it over top of the design where you want it to be. That way you get the part of the design that you want. All right, so that was easy. Now what we want to do is we want to place a little cup hook, and this is just a mini eye hook, mini itty bitty, barely hold it. And we're taking a little mini washer and we're putting them right at the top of our pendant. And it doesn't take much at all to, to screw into this cork. But I'm turning the cork and holding onto this eye screw until it goes all the way down. And this little washer is nothing more than embellishment. It really doesn't structurally do anything, but I think it looks nice at the top, if you can see that. I think it looks nice at the top of the pendant. Now if I wanted to dangle something from the bottom, I would do the same thing. I would add another cup hook into the bottom or the little eye screw into the bottom. And then I could dangle some beads off the bottom. Now to finish off the back, again, this is purely optional. I've taken a piece of aluminum flashing uh, and it's actually brass on one side and aluminum on the other, so I can decide if I wanted the brass side showing or if I wanted the aluminum side showing. And if you know a little bit about metal stamping, you can actually stamp a word into this. But I'm just going to leave it plain to show you. I'm going to take a little bit of glossy accents and apply it to the back side of my cork. Stick my metal piece onto the cork. And to hold it in place, I'm just putting a little binder clip on it. That'll keep it in place until it dries. Set it aside, let it dry for a few minutes. And when you're finished, run a ball chain through your hook at the top, and voila! You have a very simple, lightweight pendant made from recycled cork. All right, hope you enjoyed this process and we'll see you next time.